making quick when this uh, run uh, button and it will show how the molecule changes changes over time. So it's a little exploration just to for the proof of concept. So um, I can look from uh, different angles. So please try to geometry position means positions of ions can change iteratively at each step. And they uh, ideally move. Towards, uh, towards me, right? If this is uh, some important distance, it comes to equilibrium distance for each of the degrees of freedom. Um, the B molecular dynamics is and at each time, at each iteration, the velocity or momentum of, uh, of this particle, of this. Uh, Iron is, is zero. Right? So, what if we start at the initial geometry away from the equilibrium? So, that initial time uh, of uh, zero and connection. Right? So, their relative uh, partition, their relative partition may change, but overall energy is constant. Now, oh, Stephen, take the scene. What if we start? The, suppose we have a code that does not look the that allows to see how the position of uh, of the iron depends over time. And if you start it away from equilibrium, it's nat natural will go. If you like. Uh, Expand the rubber in your contract. What if we start from uh, equilibrated germ? What if you start literally above the mean and do not assign initial momentum? Will the particle move? If you start here, uh, no kinetic energy on the potential. Yes, yes, it will stay the same, right? But if my goal is to describe uh, motion, and if I assume as a as a person who attempts to be a scientist that uh, I want to model a material on a thermostat, that there is a heat bath, there is a like stove that uh, communicates some uh, kinetic energy to each other, we need to model this problem. And if we are staying in the room, we need to tick the model and assign it some kinetic energy, or at the same time, it means assign some zero moment. And then it will start to move. But what if uh, it moves a little bit here? And at this point, the uh, kinetic energy will be smaller than this right? new stuff. Will decrease over time. We can try to kick it once again, and maybe this motion in the opposite side. Then it will start moving. Here it can be a little bigger. If we can kick it once again to have a kinetic energy uh, smaller, and then we can follow this trajectory and kick it uh, by rescaling, resetting the momentum to the needed value again and again, so that. In average, after several kicks, if you equilibrate at the value of kinetic energy, that will be proportional to the, to the temperature. Oh, P, P, P zero. Oh, this one P? P. Pressure. No, no, no. Momentum. Momentum. Momentum, okay. Momentum. Momentum, same as, as velocity. So uh, let me erase this thing. Yes, yes. So, uh, 
if we set up momentum, mm -hmm. then momentum uh, squared e squared mm -hmm. over 2m mm -hmm. is kinetic energy. Kinetic energy, yeah, last class you. Yes, so. and uh, the uh, distance minus equilibrium distance squared. Mm -hmm. Uh, is potential energy. Okay. So this arrow. And mm -hmm. kinetic plus potential uh, is total energy, which is constant. Okay. So uh, which is symbolized by uh, particle moves on the equal energy line. Mm -hmm. Until turning turning point, and then it returns back, right? And uh, if uh, one wants some equations, it should be something like uh, one one kt per degree of freedom, and if we have n ions, and each of them has three degrees of freedom. Uh, energy, energy, this much, yeah. and uh, momentum that we assign here should be uh, if this is equal mass momentum. Oh, awesome. then we take uh, mass times number of ions times uh, speed. We take square root and here the initial momentum that you want to assign each time. Okay. And uh, why you wrote uh, that equations for momentum and D, it, this one, what is this? D? Because uh, I want everyone in class to understand what is heating at molecular dynamics. Okay. okay. Right. So, in order to model uh, thermal equilibrium, one release from equilibrium or one kick is not sufficient. And so how can one speak about average kinetic energy or temperature if you have one degree of freedom? And each time it will be very certain value. And if you're staying, it will be either too much or uh, either too, too few calories per per degree of freedom. So the answer is if you have sufficiently large number of degrees of freedom. And energy in, in each of them, energy will be bigger or smaller than the uh, value corresponding to thermal equilibrium. But in average, if we distribute energy over, uh, and, and big is maybe 30 or 10 atoms, three degrees of freedom for each, it will be quite good near the equilibrated value. But in order to achieve this equilibrium, one needs to make several kicks or uh, Good work for can move is the velocity of scale. Velocity of scale. So, what I tried to deliver here was the heating procedure. As soon as we arrived to um, initial moment, initial position, initial position. We can uh, just uh, start solving Newton equation of motion or to solve for position as function of time. And this uh, force will depend on uh, not on the position of time, but also on the three phases. Molecular dynamics is forcing. The forces uh, are predetermined for each interatomic distance, which is good for small atoms like carbons, oxygens. But as soon as we go to heavy elements like uranium, uh, there is a lot of uh, high quality force because uh, interdependent force also depends on angles, and it may depend on uh, the static something. So 
uh, the reason to use uh, DFT instead of force field that forces between atoms depend on uh, atomic structure. So we are going to run two jobs on each. So why we need two jobs? Connection to heating of molecular dynamics is thermal equilibrium. If you start at ground uh, at equilibrated geometry, molecular dynamics will not go for it. If you start just after one key, it will be quite far from equilibrium in several degrees. So the heating or modeling of the thermostat is needed as a preliminary step towards molecular dynamics in order to set initial conditions. And this little arrow that connects heating and molecular dynamics, this little arrow will be symbolized by one specific command, which is quite so after heating is done, so this is error, copy, CP, space, form, card, space, into force card. So it means the geometry that was generated at the end of heating stage, final geometry of the heating stage, will serve as the initial geometry for the molecular dynamic stage. So, and the file on car will contain both positions of ions just second and momentum of each ion. Yes, uh, there are two jobs, heating and molecular dynamics. Our goal is to run molecular dynamics because we want to see the response of materials to heat. But molecular dynamics, which is our goal, cannot be done without heat. Before we run the so called antique job, and each job in class corresponds to like running a class command with specific input. There, there are specific inputs for heating and molecular dynamics, but in addition, there should be connection. Last Geometry of the heating stage, which is stored in the file on card, needs to be cut into the file postcard, which will be initial geometry for molecular dynamics. And this is if this step is skipped, 